Hello, welcome to handsonsap.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the implementation guide IMG. So, this is what an implementation process looks like. First, you understand the business requirement of the client, then, you configure the system accordingly, then, you test the system, then, you train the end users, and then, you put the system in production called Go Live. Okay? So, consultants have access to setup screens, end users have access to end user screens. Setup screens dictate the behavior of the end user screens. Okay? So, in the configuration part, what you do is you enter configuration on setup screens so that SAP application starts working as per business requirements. Okay? Now, what you do in the setup screens is you enter certain tasks called setup task okay and why do you enter setup task in the setup screen so that the functionality certain functionality could be achieved okay so certain setup tasks ne are needed to be performed in order to achieve the desired functionality and how do you know that desired functionality should be achieved or, or what functionality should is needed that is determined in business requirement stage in stage one where you understand the business requirement of the client so that's how you know what functionality is required and that's how you know that you need to perform certain tasks in order to achieve this functionality now SAP provides a tool called IMG this tool helps you determine what tasks are needed to be performed in order to achieve the desired functionality okay so IMG stands for the implementation guide now remember that my SAP software consists of multiple modules okay now module consists of different business processes IMG groups all the setup tasks that are needed to be performed in order to achieve the desired functionality by business processes as well as by modules. So it's very easy to see what business what setup tasks are needed to be performed because they are listed by business processes. Okay. Now once you have performed all these setup tasks, you get your desired functionality from your software okay so what is the functionality what is the desired functionality means that means your SAP business processes now start working the way you wanted them to work or SAP business processes now matches your actual business processes okay so that's what it means when you say desired functionality is achieved okay so now coming back to the documentation that takes place in an SAP project what happens is under the configuration part you need to create a document called configuration document this document lists all the steps that are needed to be performed in order to achieve the desired configuration so basically this document would list all the steps that if you perform from the start will bring the system to the same stage uh, where you are right now okay so configuration steps are all documented under the configuration document now the good thing about IMG is it not only helps you in deciding what uh, setup tasks are needed to be performed it also helps you document the configuration along with the reasons okay so you can not only document what configuration changes you have made in the system but you can also document reasons for all those configuration changes so IMG basically helps you uh, in providing step-by-step -step plan for implementing your modules and it helps you document the configuration along with the reason so this should be the take-home for you uh, from this tutorial what IMG is and what is the benefit of the IMG benefit of IMG tool is it helps you uh, do your implementation it gives you a step-by-step -step instructions on what to do in order to achieve the result desired results and it also documents your implementation okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and I see you in my next tutorial